What's up, everybody? It's your hair business's best friend, Mikey. And today we are going to talk a little bit about the hair industry and what's going on. Now, I am currently live in our Facebook group. If you have any comments, I'm going to have a little Q&A session uh, at the end of the video. So if you have any questions or comments about the subject of the hair industry, or especially as I get talking about today's subject, uh, please feel free to leave them in the comments below and we can do a little quick Q&A session here. Uh, so today we're going to talk about the hair industry. There's been lots of talks over the years of, oh, the hair industry is so saturated. There's so many people selling hair. Now, that's probably true, but I can also tell you that every great industry is saturated. It's just the nature of the beast, you know. Um, every industry that is something like, even if, even before over the last 10 years, when you found like someone would find that product that sells really hot, you can make a lot of money, then everybody comes in. It's just, you know, there's only a very short window generally with e-commerce and products with something new, uh, for you to be able to get into. Uh, but the hair industry is going to stand the test of time. It's going to be here for a while forever. Uh, you know, it's the beauty industry. Beauty industry is a great industry to be in. Uh, it, people, all of us want to be beautiful. Uh, so it's really good. But because of the current situation worldwide, um, there's a lot of changes happening. Um, there's a lot of changes happening, happening in our great hair industry. Um, so the key part for this is for you to really understand what's going on, for you to make sure that you have a very lean business, uh, watch your expenses. This is one of the reasons why, you know, we obviously have our drop shipping systems, drop ship bundles, drop ship beauty, and why it's so important. Uh, it's really important to work with reputable, reputable vendors because of what's going on with this consolidation in the industry. Uh, so the consolidation is happening now. Uh, we can go over a little bit of a timeline of kind of what happened. So as you guys know, Chinese New Year is a big uh, part where it's, you know, about 10 days, pretty much all of China shuts down. Everybody goes back to mostly the man mainland or away from the big cities to go spend time with their families. Uh, so it can be 10 days to two week. It's usually a 10 day to two week period that everything is shut down. So nothing's being made. Nothing's happening. Right. So at private label extensions, you know, we stock up like crazy. It's something we plan months ahead of. Like we literally are spending months planning for this, uh, getting ready, you know, hot products, new products, make sure we're stocked up, everything else. Uh, that's, you know, that's just part of our business, what we need to do because we supply so many brands. But with this year, with the coronavirus, China kept everything shut down a couple more weeks. So you had this long period of time where nobody in China is making money, which, you know, just like in the US, nobody's made money just for a couple of weeks. Uh, not saying nobody, but these types of industries, um, you know, so that causes a lot of problems. So things started to ramp back up in China and everything else. Uh, and then things were fine here in the US for the most part. Uh, that's kind of the end of February, beginning of March. Okay. So things kind of got okay, but still that that extended period really knocked down. A, uh, it really hurt a lot of people, a lot of the vendors in China. Now, you know, everybody says they, you know, all the overseas vendors, especially in China, oh, everybody owns their own factory, this, that, the other. It's totally not true. There are a lot of factories in China. Uh, and depending on how much you spend with them, you know, your pricing is going to look different than other people. Uh, but most of most people that you're getting hit up on WhatsApp and everything else is mostly trading companies. Um, so they don't actually manufacture the product, regardless if they say they do, they might even take you to a factory and have put a sign up with their name, stuff like that. I mean, this kind of stuff really does happen. Um, the problem is a lot of these trading companies really weren't prepared for what is happening. And, um, you know, quite honestly, 
you know, as you guys know, or people that know me, I've been in this industry for many years. I spend at least, you know, between two trips a month a year in China, uh, working with our partners over there. Uh, it's more than just manufacturers we work with. At this point, we're so integrated with our businesses um, to be able to offer stuff like private label wigs, private label wholesale, stuff like that. Like really, they're pretty much our partners at this point. Uh, and we can leverage a lot of stuff greater than most companies. Uh, that's why, you know, we shouldn't, we won't have any problem weathering any type of storm that comes up, which is very important for you because you need a very reliable drop shipper or wholesale supplier and somebody you can trust. Um, but right now there are a lot of vendors in China, whether manufacturers that have way too much, way too many employees. And just as you guys know, there's not as much purchasing going on, uh, even despite it being the busiest season of the year with tax season, it's still happening. Um, but even so in the USA, a lot of businesses have shut down. I know some in Atlanta, uh, a lot of people have just basically laid off their whole staff, shut everything down and said, I'll just come back or maybe, or maybe come back, maybe not come back uh, when all this kind of settles down. That's not something we can do because we have thousands of clients that rely on us. We have their branding. We're shipping orders every single day. People send us messages all the time. Are you guys still shipping orders? Yes, still shipping orders even faster than ever. Uh, you guys have probably seen some of my photos where it's like my car full big bins going to USPS even on Saturdays. Sometimes we even come in on Sundays just so everything goes out as fast as possible. Um, but there is a consolidation happening both in China, in the USA. So that's really important for you being in the hair industry to understand this is a very good time to be in the hair industry. Maybe one of the better times to be in the hair industry is actually right now, uh, especially if you're just getting started, if you're just getting started because People, people are always in such a rush to be successful online. They think it's going to happen overnight. Uh, that's one of the reasons why we have the Hair Business Masterclass. And, you know, it's one of the things we're going to go over that it takes a while to be successful and build your brand. I mean, years. So now is a good time to get started. Um, but what you need to also understand, especially, is uh, you got to be careful sending money overseas. Uh, there's going to be some issues, guys. Uh, there's going to be a lot of hurt companies that are just dying for money. They know they're in China and just, it's not just China. It's everywhere in the world. You have to be really careful of where you're sending your money and people you work with. Um, there are going to be people that are going to take these mo this money, like these wire transfers. Look, you send a wire to China, good luck getting it back. I'm just being honest. Uh, the reason of this live and the idea sparked from somebody uh, that had messaged me that someone in a group or someone she knows, uh, they worked with a different vendor, which is cool, uh, but they sent the vendor $2,000 uh, late, I believe, end of February, something like that and they still don't have their product, it's probably not coming. They're basically gonna be people that are taking this money, doing shady stuff. I mean, this happens honestly in the US. So it has nothing to do with it being China or anything else. It's just in China, when you send money to China, it's even more difficult to get your money back than the US. So I mean, once you kind of send a wire, like that's, you know, it's pretty much it guys. Uh, or Western Union or all these other ways. Uh, that's one of the reasons why on private label wholesale, we have uh, PayPal confirmed accounts only. So you are protected. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of this kind of madness. And obviously, you know where we are in Atlanta, if you ever had a problem and you really need to come find us, we're here. Um, you can see me live every day. Um, but be careful where you're sending your money if you're working with overseas vendors, unless you know them very, very well because this, this story is gonna happen more and more, especially as people get more hungry over the next few weeks as things stay slower. Uh, as we, you know, stylists can get back to work and everyone can get back to work, it's gonna be a month or two. Let's be realistic here, we know it is. Uh, so plan for that. Uh, but once everyone gets back to work, everything's gonna ramp up, but it's gonna be, you know, not just in the USA, but overseas, who's gonna survive this just unprecedented time? Right. So make sure that you're planning for that. The key is to keep your expenses low and weather the storm. Uh, really, really important for you to do. Uh, I can tell you overseas in China, things are looking way better. Uh, I talk to my friends and business partners there every single day. 
and I always get updates from them. I mean, for the most part, you know, things are looking pretty good and back to normal. Uh, not all production though, there still are some lapses in production on some products. I'm not gonna go into much of the specifics of that um, or why, but there are still some lapses, but for the most part, uh, I know our supply, we're totally fine and we plan for a lot of this stuff. So we had tons of stuff come in uh, or actually I actually have it, a lot of it overseas in our China office just sitting there waiting to be sent, um, you know, but so just be prepared for some of this. Uh, be prepared. Of course, part of this is private label wholesale. As you guys know, we have a lot of clients on there. Uh, I know Zakira, who's going to be going live in here and actually go live with me, uh, has been onboarding a ton of people over the past week, especially. I mean, a ton of people have uh, switched over to private label wholesale. Uh, you know, if you guys have access, you know the pricing and stuff. I don't need to tell you. Uh, free to join as long as your business. We just wanted to make something kind of closed off. And this is not something common in the hair industry. Basically, it's all wide open with like Alibaba, AliExpress and made it really hard for, you know, clients, the competitiveness of clients. Uh, so we wanted a closed platform where you get proven products, proven services. Uh, you can reach out to us, you know, it's worked out very, very well. We've basically taken all the pros of working with someone overseas and someone working in the US and put it together. Uh, so that's pretty it, pretty much it. So I just wanna make sure you guys are being really careful where you're sending your money. If you are working with another vendor, uh, we would love to work with you, but we understand that you know not everybody knows us or has tried us or they have other reasons and that's totally fine too. Uh, this is just free information for whoever's watching. So uh, that's pretty much most important. So let's see if there's any uh, comments, questions, Q&A. No Q&A today. So we're gonna have to cut this one short. But I uh, hope you guys thought this was informative and helped you out. Uh, you just have to weather the storm. Uh, it's a phenomenal time to be in the industry. Don't let anyone tell you any different. And uh, I hope to see more people in our hair business masterclass, which today is the 31st and ability to get in there um, the ability to get in there is about to end. So I just wanted to make sure you guys know, uh, we did just get a comment. Thank you very much. I'm a private label wholesale client and it's amazing. We actually are making it, uh, better. We're adding more products and such. A lot of this was supposed to be done, uh, a while ago, but unfortunately I couldn't get back over there. I had two trips to China, um, canceled, uh, over the past, just this year. Um, so obviously I have to stay safe. Uh, so th things got, you know, things got held up a little bit, but, uh, yeah, so that's it guys. Feel free to leave some comments and, uh, we'll see you tomorrow.